Okay, uh, today we are going to learn uh, uh, something uh, adventurous story. Okay, this story is uh, telling about a particular woman who has uh, swam across uh, English Channel. Okay, um, adventurous things means it is uh, almost a very interesting and it gives lot of joy, but it is always full of risk. Okay, it is. Uh, adventurous things means something like an unusual activities okay unusual activities and um, uh, some uh, risky activity okay uh, it has lot of uh, life risking factors in it okay uh, the english channel separates england from europe it connects the north sea to the atlantic and is one of the world's busiest shipping routes just like our uh, highways and all we have uh, a lot of traffic traffics okay in the peak hours like 8 to 10 o'clock or 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock there will be uh, you know lot of traffic in the road okay so the same way so there is a busiest uh, shipping route that is uh, atlantic and uh, north sea this uh, this area is a busiest shipping route okay and this particular uh, english channel uh, connects england from uh, it is separating england from europe you got it okay it uh, english channel separates england from europe and it connects north sea to the atlantic sea okay so this english channel is the busiest shipping route normally lot of ship is to cross this uh, route okay and swimming across the english channel is compared to climbing the mount everest so it is as hard as climbing uh, up to the mount everest okay swimming across just uh, swimming across uh, this english channel is very hard task comparing to uh, we can compare this one to uh, uh, climbing up to the mount everest so mount everest going to mount everest is not a small easy task so nobody can go we see we cannot go okay it needs lot of practice uh, hard work and we need lot of experience then only we can climb the same way uh, coming uh, going uh, uh, crossing the um, english channel also same kind of task we 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 we, ha we should have lot of uh, practice and experience okay this is because swimming across the channel is not free from dangers the chopping uh, choppy ice cold water in is shark infested okay stinking uh, jellyfish and strong tides uh, all make the adventure extremely dangerous okay shortly uh, in that particular area we can find lot of dangerous uh, shark okay uh, this can uh, affect us means simply it can harm us okay shark used to even swallow us okay it will bite us it can kill us and there are dangerous jellyfish it can poke our body it can harm our body okay and apart from this the water uh, there we can see is very cold water it's not a normal sea water it is very cold water okay since it is in the atlantic area it is very cold okay and sheer exhaustion cost due to swimming in great length can also prove fatal okay so we can have uh, see uh, simply um, swimming on uh, normal water uh, becomes very hard for normal people we cannot do it very easily even in the seas we can, if we can um, swim it will have a uh, some uh, we need some uh, stamina uh, we should learn um, how to swim uh, in the on the sea and it is mm, totally different from the uh, dam swimming and um, what we call uh, swimming pool swimming all these mm, experiences are different from one another okay and uh, it it can um, you know uh, cost lot even our life risk also we can even when end up in death also okay its width is approximately 33 kilometers 
at the Strait of Dover, where most swimmers attempt to cross the channel. Okay, so what is the um, width? Approximately 33 kilometers, such a long distance. Okay, and the Dover uh, is the place where most of the swimmers attempt to cross the channel. This is the area. Okay, on September 29, 1959, Arthi Sada, aged just 19, became the first Asian woman to uh, overcome this daunting task. She swam from Cape Grace. Ness, France to Sandgate, England. So, on uh, 29th September 1959, Arthi Sada, uh, just a 19 years old girl, okay, she crossed this channel. She started from Cape Gris, France, and uh, she reached Sandgate in England. So, it is a very uh, difficult task and uh, it is full of fear and uh, full of danger but she crossed successfully okay and uh, she was born in 1940 in calcutta west bengal she was interested in swimming right from her childhood she was encouraged by her coach sachin nag to participate in the competition she won 22 state competitions between the period of 1945 to 1951. Okay, it includes an all India record in 1949. So she bought, she was born uh, in Calcutta in the year of 1940. Okay, and uh, she was uh, from the beginning, right from her uh, childhood. Uh, I think from the age of four, she started swimming, and she was so much encouraged by her coach. Sachin Nag, he was the coach for her to practice and uh, achieve this task. She, uh, he was helping him a lot, uh, had a lot to practice this kind of co uh, practices. And she won 22 state competitions, state level competition in West Bengal. She won 22 prizes, and uh, that is also with the period of um, 45 to 51. Okay. So within this period of time, she won 22 championship, uh, she won uh, competition, she won, and uh, it is including all India record in 1949. Okay. She was motivated to swim across the English Channel by an Indian swimmer, um, Mihir, I will just uh, check the name because uh, there it is not uh, visible, um, what is name? Um, Meherson, okay, he is a swimmer, Indian swimmer, his name is Meherson, okay, and uh, she was inspired uh, by him, and he accomplished a feat with no swimmer had done before, he swam across the um, seas of five con continents in a single calendar year, he was also the first Asian to cross the English Channel, see, uh, this particular uh, man was the motivating factor for him, for her to, you know, uh, come across, uh, swam across this English Channel and he accomplished a uh, lot of uh, this uh, swimming uh, experience and in, uh, in one year, five continents he just across, uh, swam across five seas of the five continents. See, just imagine uh, doing one adventure is very risky and he has come across five in a year okay so that was the main thing that motivated her to do this adventurous thing okay Arthi began began uh, training at the uh, young at a young age she used to put in long hours of training to build stamina sea swimming is totally different from pool swimming to do it one need mental and physical strength she used to practice in natural water bodies such as uh, seas and uh, instead of swimming in the pool uh, to get used to tides waves and sea creatures also made mental preparation to develop mental toughness 
so stay motivated so uh, she practiced in the very young age and she she uh, simply she did not start in the um, what we call swimming pools she used to do it in the natural waters natural water bodies like you know rivers sea and all and uh, we need strength uh, mental and physical strength to show she prepared herself in a such a way to prepare her both in mental and physical fitness in order to do this tough task okay and uh, she was she was accompanied by a pilot team who helped her in uh, directing her through the channel she made her own record of swimming a distance of 42 miles in 60 hours and 20 minutes okay so she was accompanied by a team of pilots okay pilot team so they helped her to direct to the through the channel and she made her own record in 42 miles in 60 16 hours and 20 minutes 42 miles so how it is hard to swim traveling itself uh, in a hard road and all we feel very bad okay but uh, swimming 42 miles in 16 hours it is very tough task on reaching the sand gate england she uh, lifted the indian flag hosted means just lifted the indian flag okay she also participated in the helsinki olympics in the year 1952 in recognition of her achievement she was awarded Bhakma Shri in 1960. So Indian government awarded her Bhakma Shri award in 1960. Okay, she also uh, participated in the 1952 Olympics. Okay, and Arthi died of jaundice on August uh, 23rd, 1994. Okay, and in, uh, in the year 1999, Indian Postal Service also they have uh, issued a stamp in the uh, remembrance of Arthi. and uh, she became motivating inspiration for many indians and asian swimmers okay so what a amazing story this one is right you got it